Hi everyone, welcome back to this video and in this video I would be giving you some information on probability value or it's called the p-value. So when you, you would have come across this in statistics when you were dealing with hypothesis and with hypothesis testing. So here I'll be giving you a little bit of information on what is this p-value. So let's get into it. So p-value is also called as a probability value. And what does this mean is, it indicates the probability or the likelihood of an event occurring by chance, okay? It's not a very uh, frequent event, but it happens by chance, okay? And that likelihood is what is called as a p-value. So generally, the p-value, it ranges from 0 to 1. And I can give you an example. So let's say that there is a question posted to a student as to which is the largest planet. So the student has posted with three options, Jupiter, Mars, or Earth. So Jade, the student, has two options. One is if Jade knows the answer, Jade will choose the right answer. Or else Jade will just have to go in for a guess. So here in this example, Jade does not know the right answer and Jade is going to take a wild guess. Okay. So now the teacher on the other end wants to understand whether the students understand the subject and they have a good knowledge so now based on let's say the results generated by all students the teachers having this guess whether the students actually have the knowledge and gave the right answer or they are just taking a wild guess okay so taking that wild guess is something like a example for the p-value which is not very much likely to occur okay it's very rare and the answer that account that was positive, like that I can say it was correct. Okay, so let's say um, Jay took a guess saying that okay, Jupiter might be the largest planet. So it's the right answer, but that is occurring by chance. Okay, so that is an example for the p value. So generally, there are two rules here. So if the p value is lesser than alpha, then it means that the probability of or event or any result occurring is less okay so it's less and in that way since the probability of events happening by chance is less so therefore the test is significant now I have taken another video on what is a significance level so you can click on that video and you can watch what is the significance level so you'll be able to understand so whenever the probability of things happening by chance is lesser, it means that the data that you have in hand is valid. Okay, nothing was taken by a guess or nothing was by chance. That is the truth. So in that case, you can say that the test is valid. But let's say the p-value is greater. The probability of things occurring by chance is greater. So you won't be able to trust that particular occurrence. Okay, or that result. Because if things are going to happen by chance, then one time it may occur, another time it may not occur. So you cannot take that particular information in order to take decisions. So at that time, the test is insignificant. I'll give you an example. So let's say here, the teacher has collected the scores of different students for different questions, okay? So here, if you see blue, okay, the blue here is the right answer but it just occurred by chance meaning that let's say the students had guessed the answer so if a teacher wants to exactly find out that if the students really understand the subject and they know the answers well then this teacher will take up the scores and check the scores but now when okay you have a p-value saying that most of the time the students they guess the answers so if you look at these two examples here the number of guesses is less so overall since the guesses is less and the others are right answers and it was based on the knowledge of the students that they got it right you can say that yes the test is significantly correct and the results that you generate from this can be valid okay so overall if you see the students they understand the subject and yes you can prove that the students understand the subject but when you look at this particular sample more there's so much of guesses that were taken by the students that happened to be right okay so be, believing on this probability of chances occurring you cannot actually decide that whether the students actually know the subject or not because they just took it by chance okay 
so at that time this test the results the decisions that you take on this is going to be insignificant so that's what i mean when your p values when probabilities of something occurring by chance is lesser it means that your test is significant and if everything happens by chance then you cannot believe that data and you cannot take any decisions on that so that is about the p value so i hope this was little informative to you and it cleared what is a p value i hope i simplified it so if you like this video please do give this a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks thank you